So Philadelphia is commonly known for its beautiful city hall, the world-renowned museum of art, and being the birthplace to the Philly cheesesteak. However, Philadelphia is famous for one more thing, the Union. Philadelphia Union currently sit 13th in the MLS Eastern Conference table, drawing all three of their opening games. And after achieving a fifth place finish in the overall MLS standings last season, I would say Philadelphia are underachieving at the moment. And that's where we come in, but today's rebuild does have a catch. We are going to take Philadelphia Union out of the MLS and place them into one of Europe's top five leagues which will be decided by a mystery wheel with the end goal of Philadelphia Union lifting the Champions League trophy. Well first order of business boys of this rebuild is to find out which country we are going to be rebuilding Philadelphia Union in and it's time to spin the wheel. So the wheel is spun boys which country are we heading to in today's rebuild? It's looking like it's going to be Italy and the Philadelphia Union rebuild will take place in the Italian leagues. Now it's time to find out which league in Italy we are going to be rebuilding Philadelphia Union in. So here we go boys, we are spinning the wheel. What league are we rebuilding Philadelphia in? And it's going to be the Serie B boys. I think this does actually work in our favour. The Serie A would have been well too much of a step up for season one. But Serie B is perfect and it gives us ample time to build a really good squad with Philadelphia Union. Now let's jump into FC24 and check out Philadelphia Union's team. So this is the Philadelphia Union team we've ordered into boys and wow it is very very strong. On first glance we should have no problem getting promoted to Serie A this season. And you know what we've never actually used the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow formation in any rebuild in my time on YouTube so we're going to stick with it for this rebuild and see how we get on with it. So a deep dive into our squad and our best player is Andre Blake a 32 year old 77 rated goalkeeper. We also have two 76 rated players in Kai Wagner at left back and Daniel Gazdag at centre attacking midfield who's 76 rated as well. So the average overall of the team is actually quite high for Serie B standard. And in all honesty boys we only have three players over the age of 30 at the club and a lot of the players at the club are actually currently in their primes or do have a lot of room to develop. So I actually think we've inherited quite a good squad here at Philadelphia Union. And I'm really, really hopeful we can get promoted to Serie A at the first time of asking. So I'm actually really, really impressed with the players that Philadelphia Union have at our disposal. But we definitely need to bring in some improvements. But we cannot do this until January the 1st. Because as you know, the first summer transfer window is always disabled in these rebuilds. So we are stuck with what we've got until January the 1st. But when we do get to January, boys, it's very obvious where we need to improve the squad. And that is in the central midfield positions. When we do arrive in January, we'll have $24 million to to improve our squad and I think that is an excellent transfer budget for season one. So how do we want our Philadelphia Union team to play? And given the fact we're using the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow, I think the only way to play is Tiki Taka. So that will be the tactical vision for this rebuild. So we've sorted out the starting 11 and the formation, the finances and the tactical vision. There's nothing left to do but simulate forward to January the 1st and I'm hoping to see Philadelphia Union in the promotion picture in Serie B. So we've arrived at January the 1st boys and I think the wheel was far too kind for us putting us in Serie B as we're currently sit top of the division on 52 points losing just one of our opening 21 games and we are a whopping 13 points clear of third we're eight points clear of second it's looking likely we'll win the league title so i'd just like to say a massive thank you to the mystery wheel it has proper sorted us out in season one now we did say we wanted to bring in some central midfielders in this transfer window and we do have 24 million dollars to do that but we do kick off the window with three outgoings jeremy raffandello joined odisha fc for 220 grand damian law joined palermo on a free transfer and hold and Trent joined Gillingham on a free transfer as well. Now, it's not very often that we do this, boys, but we are going to use our entire transfer budget to bring in just one player in this window, and that player is American international Yunus Musa of AC Milan. He's 21-year-old, 76 rated. Just look at them stats, boys. What a player this guy is. It's going to cost us between 18.6 and $23.2 million, meaning our entire budget will be gone, and I'm just hoping we've got enough money to actually get this deal over the line. And for an eye-watering $21 million dollars we have brought Yunus Musa Philadelphia Union and that is literally our transfer budget decimated lads we've literally got a million left in the bank which we're going to save for next season now just look at how good that team looks with Musa in midfield I think we're actually ready for Serie A right now so we've arrived at transfer deadline day boys and there has been a further three outgoings to round off our transfer window Nathan Harriel has joined Stad Rene on loan for two seasons we have sold Chris Donovan to Ulm 1846 for $590,000 and Quinn Sullivan has joined Preston 
interesting on loan for the next two seasons. And just to let you know, boys, we will not be stopping in January in every single window, only if deals have taken place will we stop in January. And as of right now, we're simulating forward straight through to the end of the season and hopefully we're promoted to Serie A as champions. So our first season in Italy has been a roaring success, boys, as we have won the Serie B title on 83 points, a whopping 14 points clear of second place Palermo. And this means that Philadelphia Union are playing football in the Serie A next season. We also had a pretty good run in the Coppa Italia getting to the round of 16 where we were beaten by Inter Milan 4-2. Absolutely no shame in that. So this is how the team is looking at the end of the first season and I have to say boys it's looking very very much ready for the Serie A and hopefully stay up. We do need to add some improvements to this team though especially in the right back position as Umbazo is just not good enough for the top flight in Italy. And I would also like to bring in the new centre back as both of our centre backs have not grown this season and they are both aging so I'd like to bring a young high potential centre back in and a really good right back as well. So look to the stats boys and our strikers and centre attacking midfielder really did carry us this season with Ahure and Carranza getting 19 goals each and Gazdag getting 18 goals and 10 assists. That's insane. Now let's get into season two boys and the objective is simple. Keep this Philadelphia Union team in the Serie A. So we're having season two boys and we've got 30 million dollars to improve our squad. So we kick off our summer transfer window with three outgoings. Jose Martinez has joined Arlanta for six million dollars. Oliver Semler has joined Krakowia for 125 grand and we have also cashed in on Jack McGlynn as he's joined Besiktas for seven million dollars and this now means we have 38 million dollars in the bank to improve our squad. Now the first signing we're going to make of this summer transfer window is actually going to leave you scratching your heads. We are going to be bringing in Juan Jose Mina of New York Red Bulls. He's 69 rated and 19 year old. Now I know what you're thinking. This guy is just not good enough for Serie A and you're probably right boys. But I do know that he has got good potential in this year's game and he's only going to cost us between 4.25 and 3.4 million dollars. No, I don't want to blow a load of our budget on a right back. I want to improve the more important parts of our team like the centre back positions. And I think bringing in Mina, a good high potential young right back for such a low sum of money is actually a good bit of business and we have completed the signing of Juan Mina for 3.2 million dollars so as we know boys we are in the market for a brand new centre back and we have identified American international Chris Richards who's currently playing for Royal Antwerp he's 76 rated 24 year old got decent stats and he is going to cost us a bit more than usual as he has just signed for Antwerp costing between 12.3 and 15.4 million dollars I think he would be the perfect signing for Philadelphia Union and for 13 million dollars we have brought Chris Richards to Philadelphia Union and given the fact we've sold Martinez in this transfer window boys we are out for a new set of defensive midfielder and I have identified Ibrahim Suleiman of Cagliari he's 21 year old 73 rated he is showing great potential and he's only going to cost us between 7.6 and 9.5 million dollars I think this is an absolute no-brainer boys and for 8 million dollars we have brought Suleiman to Philadelphia Union and the final player we want to bring to Philadelphia Union in this summer transfer window is Gianluca Busio of Venezia he's 76 rated 22 year old really really good stats but he is going to cost us between 10.9 and 13.6 million dollars meaning we might not have enough funds to get the deal over the line but we are going to give it our best shot boys and for 12 million dollars we have brought Buzio to Philadelphia Union that is rounding off our transfer window and that leaves us with just 700 grand in the bank meaning our transfer window is finished meaning this will be the team to take us into our first season in the Serie A and I know what you're thinking boys it isn't looking very very strong on paper we didn't have a massive transfer budget so we've identified young high potential players in the transfer window who've got plus 80 potential i do think we've got enough with this starting 11 to stay in the Serie A this season although i do expect us to be battling relegation this season so all that's left to do now boys is simulate forward straight through to the end of the season and see how philadelphia union got on in our first season in the Serie A. so we're at the end of season two boys and it is time to see if the young guns we have signed have kept us in the Serie A, and they've gone one better than keeping us in the Serie A, boys they've actually got us a mid table finish finishing 10th in the division it was only 11 points off a Europa Conference League player so the lads have absolutely smashed it this year and our decision to go with high potential youngsters has definitely paid off and our season lads just gets better and better we actually got to the Coppa Italia semi-finals where we were knocked out 4-3 by Juventus genuinely I am staggered at how good our team has been this season so this is how the team is looking at the end of season 2 boys and we have had Musa and Carranza both reach 80 rated with Buzio, Gazdag and Richards not far behind the team actually looks really really strong on paper you know boys I'm really happy with the growth we've seen from our players the season boys but going into season three we do need to start adding some real quality if we want to start progressing towards them european places we definitely need to bring in the new center back to replace glesnes i think that's how you pronounce his name and i'd also like to bring in the new striker to replace ahure so in terms of stats boys it was once again our attacking trio who carried us this season with julian caranzo getting 25 goals and five assists followed by daniel gazdag who got 
20 goals and 16 assists. And then Mikhail Ahure, who got 15 and 11. Well, that's season two completely boxed off, boys. Let's get into season three and try and get towards them Europa Conference League places. So we've arrived in season three, boys, and we've got $41 million in the bank. And it's time to get to work in the transfer market. So the first signing we've identified of this summer transfer window is in the striker position. And it's a very, very good up-and-coming young American striker. And that man is Ricardo Pepe. He's 22 years old, 79 rated, high, high work rates and very, very impressive stats. However, boys, he's going to cost us between 34 to $42.5 million, meaning we might not have enough to get the deal done. We might have to do a little bit of wheeling and dealing with this one. And for a whopping $34 million, we have brought Ricardo Pepe to Philadelphia Union. So we've had some excellent news, boys. For the first time in absolutely forever, we've actually won our pre-season tournament, meaning $3.9 million has been added to our transfer budget. And along with loaning out some youth players, boys, there have been two major outgoings in this summer transfer window. Mikhail Ahure has joined Villarreal for $10 million and Jakob Glesnez has joined Udinese for $3.35 million. Meaning we now have $18 million in the bank to bring in a centre-back. So our search for a centre-back has ended, boys, as we've found a very, very good young centre-back in Thomas Aviles, who we've brought to the football club for $12.5 million. He's 21-year-old, 75 rated, showing great potential and I think this is an amazing pick-up. And the signing of Aviles actually leaves us with change to spare as we've got $8 million still left in the bank. But I'm going to call the transfer window finished right here. Meaning this will be the Philadelphia Union team to take us into season three and it's looking so much stronger on paper. I just hope this squad of players has got enough to get us into Europe this season at least. And there's only one way to find that out boys. Let's simulate forward now right through to the end of season three and see if we manage to sneak into Europe with this team. So we've arrived at the end of the season boys and the goal for this season was to finish in a European competition. Well we have only gone and secured Europa League football for season four as we finished fifth in the Serie A and we're only nine points off tabletop in Milan so we are making a Astounding progress with this Philadelphia Union team. But our Coppa Italia journey come to an end in the round of 16 as Fiorentina beat us 1-0. So this is how the team is looking at the end of the season, boys. And I have to say, the midfield and forwards are looking really, really strong. But the back line is definitely where we need to add some quality going into season four. But going into season four, as we've already said, we want to improve the back line. And I'm thinking a new right back to replace Mina and maybe a new goalkeeper as Blake is actually 35 years old now and will probably start decreasing from here on out. So in terms of stats, Lads, Ricardo Pepe's first season as a union player was outstanding, getting 27 goals and 10 assists. But Julian Carranza carried on his excellent form throughout the course of this rebuild, getting 27 goals as well, but this time only five assists. That is an outstanding return. But let's now push on into season four, try to win the Europa League, and I really want to see us get into them Champions League places, boys. We've arrived in season four, boys, and we've got $74 million to improve our squad. So as we know, boys, we are in the market for a goalkeeper in this transfer window, and we have found an absolute Luke Steelier, boys. Lucas Chevalier of Lille is 84 rated and 24 year old with absolutely insane stats. And because his contract is expiring at the end of the season, we can get him for 31.2 to $39 million. This is an absolute steal, boys. And we are going to bring him to the union. And we have literally just signed an 84 rated 24 year old goalkeeper for $32 million. This is the deal of the century. But before we progress on any further with the transfer window, boys, there have been some outgoings to bring you up to date with. Nathan Harriel has joined Udinese for $6 million. And we've also decided to cash in on Kai Wagner, who's joined West Ham for $25 million. And we've also loaned out Ty Baribo to Al Nassar for the season, along with loaning out quite a few youth players as well, boys. Now, this means we've got $61 million, and we now need a right back and a left back. And we are going to sign a player for Philadelphia Union, who's very, very close to my heart. As we know, boys, I'm a Bolton Wanderers fan, and we had Connor Bradley on loan last season in real life, and he was an absolute superstar for us and we've just found him in game playing for Arsenal 81 rated 23 year old of amazing stats and his contract is also expiring in 11 months time meaning we can get him for 28.4 to 35 million dollars this is an absolute steal boys and we are bringing him to Philadelphia Union and we have secured the signing of Connor Bradley for just 31 million dollars that leaves us with 27 million dollars to bring in a brand new left back boys so in the hunt for Wagner's replacement in the left back position we have landed at Ilias Jellerhurt of West Ham United. He's 23-year-old, 78-rated, really well-rounded stats. Now, admittedly, he is two overalls less 
than Wagner. However, he is six years younger, and I'm very confident come the end of the season, this guy will be well clear of 80 rated. And given the fact we've only got $27 million, lads, we have to be spent of our money. He'll only cost us between 19.2 and 24 million, so I think it's a no-brainer. Let's bring him to Philadelphia Union. And for just $21 million, we have brought Ilias Jelleher to Philadelphia Union. And that does leave us with $3 million in the bank, meaning our transfer window is finished. So our Europa League group is in, boys, and I do feel like the EAFC gods are smiling down on us as it's not too bad of a group. We've got FC Copenhagen, Victoria Pleasant, and, and Hadged Split. I do think we should be walking this group, boys. As you know, nothing's ever that simple in FC 24. We're now simulating forward straight through to the end of the season, and the goals are get as far into the Europa League as we can and also qualify for the Champions League. So we're at the end of the season, boys, and our progression just continues to keep rolling on as we finish fourth in the Serie A, securing Champions League football for Philadelphia Union in Season 5. We finished six points clear of fifth place Roma, but we was only five points off the league title, meaning we are closing that gap, boys, and we was also the league's top scorers. So, so many positives to take from this season, and who knows, maybe with the right additions next season, we might even challenge for the title. In the Coppa Italia, we once again fell short in the semi-final Finals getting beat on away goals by AC Milan. That is absolutely heartbreaking. And in the Europa League, we were excellent in our group, winning five of our games, not losing a single game. We only conceded two goals in six games. That's insane. But unfortunately, lads, that is where our run would end as Brighton knocks us out in the round of 16. 3-1. That is so disappointing. I thought we might have a chance of winning that tournament. So this is the team that has got us Champions League football, boys, and it's looking so strong on paper. Our front two look insane. Carranza, 85, and Pepe, 88. It looks like our strike force is now set for the rest of the rebuild. However, looking through the rest of the squad, lads, there are some positions that I want to improve. I want to bring in a world-class centre-back to replace Aviles at the centre-back position, as he's 80 rated, lads. He is only 23, but he is really not growing at a good rate, so a world-class player to replace him will be good, and we can use Aviles as a backup. And I also want to bring in a world-class centre defensive midfielder to replace Suleimana, as he's 81 rated, 24-year-old. He's only growing by one overall or so a season, and I think by adding a world-class centre-back and a world-class defensive midfielder, we can give a really good account of ourselves in the Champions League and maybe even push for the Serie A title. In terms of stats, boys, Carranza was our best player this season, getting 23 goals and 8 assists, closely followed by Ricardo Pepe, who got 21 goals and 9 assists and also grew by 4 overalls to 88 rated. Daniel Gazdag had another brilliant season, getting 19 goals and 8 assists, and Yunus Musa chipped in with 10 and 8. So we had a really, really good season in terms of goal-scoring, boys. We just need to stop conceding so many goals. Let's get into Season 5, boys. Our first season in the Champions League, bring some world-class players in and see if we can push for the Serie A title. So heading into our first season in the Champions League, boys, we'll have $101 million in the bank. So let's now get to work bringing in a new CDM and centre-back in this transfer window. So as we know, boys, one of the key areas we want to improve in this transfer window is in the centre-back position. And we've identified a bit of a Premier League forgotten man in Wesley Fofana. He's currently earning his trade in the French League at Lille. He's 26-year-old, 84 rated, 6 foot 3 and really decent stats as well, boys. But the best thing about Fofana is He's only going to cost us between 45 and $56 million, meaning we could actually save quite a bit of money with this deal. Then use the rest of our budget to bring in a proper world-class defensive midfielder. And for $47.4 million, we have brought Wesley Fafana to the union. And after the signing of Fafana, we're left with $49 million in the bank. So along with selling and loaning out quite a few youth players, boys, we have had two major outgoings in this window. Juan Mina has joined Torino for $16.5 million. And Ty Berry, boys, joined Cagliari for $3.5 million, meaning we now have $68 million in the bank to bring in a CDM. So after bringing in a centre back and getting rid of some deadwood out of the side our attention now turns to bringing a CDM into the football club and I'm going to bring in a player that we've used in a past rebuild who grew to over 90 rated and that is Arthur Vermeeren of Atletico Madrid he's 22 year old 83 rated high high whip rates insane stats for a defensive midfielder but he's going to cost us between 55 and 69 million dollars meaning this is going to use up all of our budget but I think he's definitely worth it and for 60 million dollars Arthur Vermeeren is now a union player and that leaves us with just 4 million dollars in the bank, meaning there'll be no more incomings in this window. And this is how the team is looking to take us into our first ever season in the Champions League, and it's looking so strong on paper, boys. I'm really hoping this team can get us to at least the quarterfinals. So we've arrived at the end of the transfer window, boys. There's been no further incomings and no further outgoings, but we have been given our Champions League group, and it is a very interesting one, to say the least. We've got AS Monaco, Ajax, and Benfica. No major world-class team in there, but a lot of four-and-a-half, four-star teams. It is going to be a pretty difficult group. We've got some 
some difficult away trips, but we should have more than enough to get through this group and hopefully get to the latter stages of the Champions League. Let's now simulate forward straight through to the end of the season and see how Philadelphia Union got on. So we've arrived at the end of the season, boys, and we have secured a third place finish in the Serie A table, only four points off title winning Napoli. So we are very, very slowly but surely bridging that gap to the top of the league and hopefully at some point in this rebuild we can actually win the Serie A. Well, the first time in the rebuild we was actually in the Super Cup, but we did not make it past the semi-finals as Milan beat us 1-0. And then once again, it was heartbreak in the Coppa Italia semi-final as Juventus knocked us out. That's the third time in this rebuild we've managed to get beat in the semi-final. And we've not yet actually won a trophy since we won the Serie B title. Now in the Champions League, we've very easily topped our group winning five of our games, only losing one. In the round of 16, we smashed Newcastle United 7-1 over two legs, beating them 5-0 in the home leg. That is insane. In the quarterfinals, we beat Inter Milan on penalties, 3-2, drawing 4-4 over the two games and then unfortunately we got absolutely battered in the semi-finals by Barcelona 5-0 and they will take on Bayer Leverkusen in the final so not meant to be this year but I think with the right additions who knows we might be able to get to the final next season so this is how the team is looking at the end of the season and it's looking really really strong on paper boys our entire back line is now 85 rated or above Chevalier in net is 87 rated we've got really good attackers in Carranza and Pepe who's now 92 rated by the way the squad is looking really, really strong. I do think, though, going into season seven, I think it is, or six, we definitely need to improve on Buzio in the central midfield positions. And I'm also thinking, boys, Gazdag is 84 rated, is injured, and he's 32 years of age. I think we need a new centre attacking midfielder as well. And if we get these signings right, I genuinely believe we could get to a Champions League final. In terms of stats, lads, Ricardo Pepe was our best player again this season, getting 31 goals and one assist. And the man we're actually looking to replace, Daniel Gazdag, got 26 goals and 18 assists. That is insane. Julian Carranza once again had a good season, getting 26 and 6, and Buzio did chip him with 13 and 7, but then not many goals at all after that, boys, and that is something that we've lacked all the way through this rebuild, is goals from the rest of the squad. It's a good job, though, our strikers are carrying us. So we arrive in what I believe is season 7, but I keep losing track of what season we're actually up to. All that matters, though, boys, is we have got $147 million in the bank, and we are going to spend every single penny in this window. So as we know, boys, we are in the market for a central attacking midfielder, and we have identified an American star to bring to Philadelphia Union. And that man is Giovanni Reyna, who's currently playing for Tottenham Hotspur. He's 84 rated, 25 year old, amazing start, six foot one. And he's only going to cost us between 60 and 75 million dollars, meaning we'd have a lot of money left to play with after signing him. And I want to keep the core of this team American. And boys, we have brought Giovanni Reyna to Philadelphia Union for 71 million dollars. And as we know, boys, in this transfer window, we're looking to improve the centre midfield position. And we've actually cashed in on Jan. Luca Buzio, who's joined Atletico Madrid for $62 million. And this means we've got $127 million in the bank to replace Buzio. So we have scoured the transfer market long and hard looking for Buzio's replacement, lads. And we have landed with Nicolo Ravella of Marseille. 86 rated, 26 year old. Doesn't have a single stat below 76 rated. This guy looks like the real deal and is going to cost us between $84 and $105 million. Meaning it's going to be a very pricey deal. I really think Ravella takes us to the next level. And for a whopping $95.5 million we have brought Nicolo Ravella to Philadelphia Union. And we are now left with just $28 million in the bank. So we've arrived at the end of the transfer window, boys. There's been no further incomings and no further outgoings, but our Champions League group has been drawn. And it's very similar to last season's. We've got Monaco, Benfica, but this time we've got Dynamo Kiev. So last year we won five out of six games of a group, including Monaco and Benfica. So I'm expecting us to breeze through this group. Let's now simulate forward straight through to the end of the season and see how we got on. So we arrived at the end of the season, boys, and we were so close to winning our first Serie A title finishing in second place just one point behind Inter Milan we literally won the same amount of games we just lost one more game than them and that has handed them the league title I'm absolutely gutted however we did pick up our first bit of silverware of the Rebuild boys winning the Super Cup beating Juventus 2-0 in the final and that's not our first bit of silverware actually because we won the Serie B title in the Coppa Italia we were knocked out in the quarterfinals by Inter Milan so still no Coppa Italia trophy in the cabinet However, boys, we have actually made the Champions League final where we will take on PSG. We topped our group, winning four of our games, drawing two and not losing a single game. In the round of 16, we absolutely battered Spurs 7-2 over two legs. And then we somehow went on to beat Barcelona 10-3 over two legs. 10 
Marie. Me and him, we won the first leg 5-2 and the second leg 5-1. I've never seen anything like that before in any of these rebuilds. We then went on to beat Milan 4-1 in the semi-finals, 5-3 over two legs to set up a tie with PSG in the final. Some genuinely eye-watering scores there in the Champions League though, boys. We bounced Barcelona. I can't believe that. So this is the team that has got us to a Champions League final, boys, and it has to be said, it's looking so good on paper. That front three and the midfield three behind them look absolutely insane and I cannot wait to use them in the final. Now in terms of stats boys, Ricardo Pepe was once again our best player getting 40 goals and 8 assists in 54 games. Lads, you need to try this guy. He has been a beast for us. Julian Carranzo carried on his amazing form in a Philadelphia Union shirt getting 28 goals and 11 assists. Musa had his best season yet getting 20 and 12 and Giovanni Reina had a very successful first season getting 12 and 13. Now all that's left to do boys is take on PSG at the Bernabeu for the Champions League trophy. So here we go, boys. It's Champions League final time. Philadelphia Union taking on PSG and Mbappe. This is going to be a tough game, boys. But I do like the look of our team and I do actually fancy our chances. Pepe blocked. Ravella keeps it in, though. Bradley, Pepe, Reina, Carranza, Musa. Oh, that's poor. That's a poor ball by Musa. And here come PSG with Valentina. They've got a really good team on paper, boys. I have seen they've got Martinelli, Valentini, Mbappe. It's going to be a really difficult tie. Pedri's in there as well. Midfield three is controlling the game, boys, to be honest. We're just struggling to create any real chances. Ren, oh, what a ball to Pepe. Carranza back stick. That's a good ball. Oh, it's over his head. It's over his head. Vermeeren. From distance, ah, oh, it's over the bar. 30 minutes in, lads, and believe it or not, that is actually the first shot of the game. Ravella, <laughs> ref, free kick. That's got to be a red card. Get him off. Ah, he's going to book him. Milito gets booked. We've got a free kick in a very dangerous position, boys. Let's just try it from here. Bit of power. Ravella, over the wall. Oh, Donnarumma got there. I thought that was just sneaking into the bottom corner. Well, that is our first shot on target, and it's from a set piece 40 minutes into the final. We need to be a bit more creative and make an actual chance. Reina, Pepe, right. This is it. This is a good chance. Get across him. Have a dig. Get in there, Pepe. What a finish. And it's 1-0 to Philadelphia Union on the counter-attack. And it is our star man, Pepe, who smashes it at Donnarumma's near force. This is the definition of leaving the goalkeeper with no chance. We cut across Parisi, get in front of Milito, and it's behind Donnarumma before he even hits the ground. What a finish that is. And on the stroke of half-time, with the game's first real chance, we are 1-0 up in this final. Oh, no, Asensio. Get in front of him. What a tackle. What a tackle by Fafana. Our centre-backs have been unbelievable. Oh, he's done. Man, he's done with that. Oh, no. Denied. What a block. What a block by Richards. Our centre-backs, man. They've been absolutely insane in this game. Oh, my God. Vitina. Nope. Oh, what a save by Chevalier. Keep it in. Kept in. Wow. Oh, uh, PSG not level. Oh, my God, Ravella. Oh, my God. Chevalier with a save again. Oh, my God, 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 get out. Wow, how has this game changed so much in one half? R Pepe, oh, we're in. We're in. Oh, my God. That was a chance, boys. 93 rated Pepe has just put it into Rose Ed. Don't let him score. What a save by Chevalier. Four minutes played of the two. And we just need to defend this corner, boys. We defend this corner... We win the Champions League. They've got Donnarumma forward. It's whipped in. They can't beat the first man. It's back in, though. Clear it. Yeah, it's going in, though. We actually ended up playing six minutes of added time. But we hold on to beat PSG 1-0. And Philadelphia Union become the first ever MLS side to win the Champions League. Oh, my God. Chevalier, man. That was a man of the match performance from our goalkeeper. Wow. And the Americans well and truly took over the Champions League this year. Five American players in the starting eleven, But it will be Arthur Vermeer and our CDM who will lift the trophy. Our club captain. And Philadelphia Union from the United States... Uh, the champions of Europe, and that is another rebuild successfully boxed off. I just want to say a massive thank you for watching the video, boys. I really hope you enjoyed this new concept of taking an MLS side into Europe and winning them a Champions League trophy. If you want to see more rebuilds that are similar to this, where we take teams out of leagues and swap some leagues about, let me know in the comment section down below, and we can easily arrange it. And if you could also hit that subscribe button, it would really help me out, as we are well on the way to 3,000 subscribers. And I will see you next week for a new rebuild. Cheers.